blinky light supposed to be blinky? Yes. Yes. Okay, I just make sure it's playing. I love my nose curls. <sighs> I am your heel CEO, and this is the Jobber Lynn with me as always. We just got done watching <laughs> Raw with no commercials. <laughs> Fast Lane. Fast Lane. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh. Do you have anything positive to say before we go on? I thought it was a great pay per view. Was it my torment? <laughs> That made you think that this was a good pay-per-view. That's a good half of it, yeah. Because after every match that I had hope for, <laughs> you did a Randy Orton pose behind me mm -hmm. and rubbed it in my face. <laughs> this is our review. All right. First match of the night, you got some Mojo squashing Sami Zayn. Beautiful. Anytime when you got some Mojo destroying somebody, I, I give it a thumbs up. And you got Sami Zayn continuing his quest to be the WWE crash test dummy until they push him and find somewhere to do it. Um, it's on Raw though, so it ain't gonna fucking happen. Um, fuck Raw. That's the theme of tonight. Good on some Mojo for getting his match. He's probably gonna go head into WrestleMania with a fuck fuck Raw. Next match. <laughs> you got the club defending their championship against Big Cass and Uso. Not Uso. Is it Uso? not Uso? Uso. <laughs> Raw got me fucked. You got the club defending their championship against Enzo and Big Cass. Big Cass. <laughs> um, Enzo and Big Cass need to break up already. Oh. Enzo's worthless. The crowd's already done with the whole rigmarole that they do that until Big Cass gets on the mic and says S-A-W-F-T, the rest of it crowd doesn't give a fuck. They were thanking Sheamus when Sheamus bro kicked okay. Enzo on Raw. But it's done. The but experiment's then, it's done. Like, I don't think they need to break up. You just Enzo, you just need to become his manager. Put give the push to Cass and just do it that way. I mean great legends have become managers, you know. The only reason I'm gonna agree with you it's because I don't want to see an Enzo and Big Cass feud. Mm. That always comes with breakups. Yep. So I'll agree with you. Enzo just become manager. Um, but that means the guy talk more. Well, he's good at talking. Enzo die. Just kill him, man. Just die. <laughs> All right, next match. Next match. <laughs> you got Sasha Banks and a girl who's not like most girls. Nia Jax. Nia Jax, Nia whatever. Jax. <laughs> you know what? The big one that squishes people. Mm -hmm. um, so, female Braun Strowman was expected to win. She did it through a roll up by Sasha. Um, I looked away most of this match because I couldn't care less. No stakes, no reason why this repeat of a match happened other than get Sasha Banks over on her. Sasha's known as the boss because when she was a heel in NXT is what she would go by. But all the announcers throughout saying how, oh, it's her determination that makes her the boss. It is how she's always willing to fight that makes her the boss. When she got the gimmick by not fighting <laughs> and not being determined to do anything. Mm -hmm. um, but this is wrestling. You're supposed to forget everything that happened last week. Uh, so roll up pin to defeat Nia Jax and make it her only loss that wasn't through fucked up means. Um, who cares? Fuck them both. This is the theme for tonight. Like I said. Then you other thing where Jinder Mahal and Rusev broke up because who cares about that group? Really? Um, wasn't, that wasn't going nowhere. Jinder looks like a roided up hamster. I don't want to see any of his matches. This, and I'm sorry, that's probably something that's like religious or culture. Thing. I just don't care about stopping a match to do this. But then again, I did like the wave that that one guy did on the UK. Uh -oh. Fuck Jinder Mahal. This whole pay-per-view, Cesaro defeated him. Good for Cesaro. Keep pushing him. 
Looks like he hurt his back. I pray to God. Granted, though, that dude sells pretty darn good for most people. Sometimes I can't halfway believe if he has an injury. I think he really hurt his back because he's flipping a mus- or muscle hamster around <laughs> like a fucking rat doll for no reason. And Cesaro is with him. They're still together, I guess. Um, then Russo's turn to have a singles match happen. Big Show came in to continue his little mini push heading into WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. Uh, he looks great against Rusev. It's the best I think Big Show's ever done. Um, it's well, to me it's second wor- best. I, I still get that Braun Strowman match he had. That was, that was an incredible match. That well, I mean, like work. this, the stint. Yeah, the stint. Is- the stint is the best I yeah. think Big Show's ever had in his career. Um, it's probably my second favorite match of the night, just because he looked good in it. Um, He's probably going to be used last few years in, so it's good to send him out like he should as a legend instead of a joke. And he's looking good, too, man. I'm about to say, I hope this is doing great, not only just for his career, but for, his, you know, our Giants, you know. They don't do too well once they start getting up in age, so hopefully this new new big show means really good things for him. Lana wore really tall boots. <laughs> Next match. Match of the night, in I think everyone's opinion here, was uh, Neville versus the gentleman Jack Galler. Bravo. Let me make sure I'm saying. No, it is Gallagher. Yeah, uh, Gallagher. Her. Like. He's going to be smashing watermelons because this is, <laughs> this is raw. <laughs> That's where they're going to go with the gimmick. Okay, uh, no, stop that. Great match. Great tempo. Very good spots. Match of the night for me. I was I was a really good showing from both of them. Even in the end, where Neville got the win, I, I wasn't I wasn't mad. So if anybody is mad at Neville holding this belt, get over yourself. This is a great man to hold that belt. If he would have passed it down to Jack, that's another great person to have that belt right now, as far as the cruiserweights go. But these two having a match was the best thing for that whole division. They need a rematch. Even it was so good. I'm spacing out because I imagine the front row. All with like brain parkas on as Gallagher slams. The man already got the Mary Poppins <laughs> today. Don't put this on him, too. It's gonna happen. He can't carry all these gimmicks, man. He, he's one man. He's gonna come in dressed as like a young Triple H <laughs> with a mini sledgehammer <laughs> and a watermelon. That's what's gonna happen to him. He has a cool headbutt. Oh, man. Um, he, oh, he's gonna headbutt. The watermelons. Stop. That's what's going to happen. Stop. His name is Gallagher. Stop. It's, I read his name for the first time. How? Because well, I know who they are when they come out, so I'm not like, oh, Jack Gallagher, he's going to smash watermelons. Shut but up. But looking here, Shut he's, he's going to fucking smash watermelons. Don't, don't ruin that man. He has a great gimmick. Ugh. He has a great. He is a great talent. Don't ruin him. Oh, yeah. The, Brawl especially has a fucking... Fuck roll. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> Next. <laughs> Roman Reigns defeated Braun Strowman in a 17 minute and 20 second long match, where Braun <laughs> carried him the whole time. I was like, oh. And then Roman decides to win because he's a cock. Damn. Um, fuck Roman Reigns. Fuck Vince McMahon for liking Roman Reigns. Uh, everyone who buys Roman Reigns t-shirts, let me make sure I don't have one that was given to me. No, I don't. Fuck you. You're the reason behind this. Lynn's knife hand that he's getting ready to throw, fuck that too, because he, <laughs> he did a fucking Randy Orton pose behind I did a Randy Orton pose in this. And, and that's the whole thing, though. I knew this was going to happen. You build a monster like Braun Strowman, you give him every all the steam in the world. But in the end, you still can't push the button to say he's better than this other guy because you want him to be the face of your company. The you man can- said suffering succotash on screen. <laughs> and you're going to forgive this. The man can't get over to save his own career. But you're going to push it. Listen, John Cena at least has made an attempt as tried to get better at his wrestling. Roman Reigns starts jerking off his arms and wondering why you're not buying more shirts and he doesn't have a goddamn title. Because you're jerking off your arm, Roman. Because you're doing this. I say, at this point, y'all deserve this. This is payback. Oh, 
when a guy deserves a push and you build him up and then you can't push the button, hey, this is what you watch Raw for, right? Not uh, if it wasn't for the for the fact that we sometimes report on Raw or wrestling, I wouldn't watch Raw after this pay per view. Um, <laughs> this is the worst pay per view I've watched in a long ass time. Um, I I would have rather watched SmackDown on Hulu. Um, and that's not even a joke. That's a fact. And then you got Bailey versus Charlotte Flair, Ooh. where Sasha comes in and defends Bailey to help her win, retain the title, um, furthering this whole Bailey can't do it on her own thing. I'm sure Monday night's gonna explain it. But I'm still confused by this one because it was still like supposed to be a single like regular match, right? Mm -hmm. So when Sasha came out, shouldn't it have been the disqualification? I mean, like, she was in the ring, and, like, there was, like, blow, blows thrown back and forth or something, I think. It's like... I think Charlotte kicked her ass without what? her getting any blows on. Okay. So, it's technically not disqualification unless somebody else physically touches you. Unless WWE decides to make it a disqualification that time. Which happens all the time, like, yeah. with tag teams. When tag yeah. teams all run in... And then all of a sudden, oh, I've lost control ring the ball. I was ringing the ball, which that should have been one of those moments too. Um, it's I'm sure this is going to come down to Sasha turning heel, saying I'm making sure Bailey keeps the belt because she's beatable, mm -hmm. and Charlotte is not beatable. So St Stephanie's right, uh, and Bailey's going to have a big ass match in WrestleMania and come through, which is going to suck. I don't like Bailey. I liked her in NXT. I like her too, but she ain't no Charlotte. She ain't no Sasha. She's not like most girls. I not like most girls. <laughs> right back. <laughs> uh, that's the only part I know about the song. Uh, oh. Oh. So you had Kevin Owens becoming, being a genius, pacing around because they had time to fill because they're going to give this man 22 seconds to lose his belt. The best talent that you have on your fucking roster besides... You know, I mean, Braun Strowman's getting up there, but Kevin Owens is the greatest. Uh, Chris Jericho's really cool, too. Uh, they could have brought the band back together and made Chris Jericho run down and save the title to make up for the Friendship Festival debacle where... Moment of silence. Raw. Whoever's in power, you decided tonight that instead... Of putting power in the hands of your champion, or even then make Goldberg look better, even if you're gonna pass the title on to him as a complete wrestler, you decided to just do a squash match tonight with your champion. To add insult to injury, everyone wanted to let you guys know while you guys were talking, WWE updated their cover cover photo to Kevin Owens and freaking Goldberg. <laughs> Get that out of my phone. <laughs> Alex told me don't blame Goldberg. <laughs> blame the writers. But it's fucking Goldberg that wanted this goddamn title reign. And you know it was. You know it's part of this goddamn contract. You're going to let me have the title in another match that no one gives a fuck about. So you got two part timers. <laughs> Main eventing WrestleMania for a belt that they're gonna have to drop eventually because they can't wrestle. Wait, full time. You got two non full timers who have previously been on a WrestleMania event that had one of the worst matches in WrestleMania history, about to go and possibly do the same thing again because they can't have a match. And even now, you show Goldberg can't have a match that's longer than 30 seconds. Yeah, he, he looks like trash. He's, he, he's <laughs> only speared in his time. And spear and jackhammer, that's the only thing he has done in his time in the WWE. He has not done anything else because you're afraid of the fucking William Regal match happening again <laughs> where he looks so goddamn stupid in the ring, fumbling around. Where's the Ryback? You know what, fans? Start chanting a Ryback's name every time Goldberg comes out. <laughs> Please. Matter of fact, no, no, no. You know what? Either don't chant. Hell, chant CM Punk's name if you want. I mean, that's a more, you know, better champion that Raw's had. 
chant Chris Jericho for all I care. Hell, you know what? Let's play like this match didn't happen tonight at this pay-per-view. And we'll just say Kevin Owens still has the championship. And we'll just move forward from there. But they're skipping over the fucking fact that he gets a rematch. Ah. There's a rematch clause that needs to happen. Yeah. And they just glossed over all that and just said, oh, look. Main event, Goldberg versus Lesnar for the title. No, fuck that. Kevin Owens gets his rematch. Kevin Owens should have rolled out as soon as the bell rang, got a chair and hit Goldberg and said, fuck off, and walked out. That's what should have happened tonight. Um, change your rules, Raw. There's no reason for me to watch you. You took Kevin and Jericho away. You made Braun Strowman lose tonight. And look what you did to Kevin Owens. Goldberg's not entertaining. Fucking Brock ain't really entertaining anymore. Enzo and Cass ain't entertaining. Junior Mahal is on steroids. Fucking Rusev is about to take time off, so I lose another main fact why I like. But hey, hey, there's still a bright side to all this. New Day's got ice cream now. Ice cream. Ice cream. It's gonna be like corn flavored and it's gonna cost sixty dollars. <laughs> and fucking FYE, like Booyos cost fifteen dollars. <sighs> I keep spacing off because I can't believe I just watched the worst shit I've ever seen. And I've had such hope. Oh man, we gotta watch the fallout of this tomorrow too. No, no, we don't. I quit. <laughs> you watch it and you tell me. <laughs> If I need to, I'd rather, rather eat a tomato. No, I don't like tomatoes. That ain't true. <laughs> I'm done. Dude, finish it out yourself. Do the closing. Well, guys. Who brought the ladder? Probably the Hill CEO. This is who brought the ladder? The Hill CEO's gone. The Jobberland's still here for you, though. I'll see y'all on Tuesday. <laughs>